Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to use a percussion massager or a massage gun for neck and shoulder pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure and click on the subscribe button because it helps my channel grow. So I'm going to use Eye Relief's wireless percussion massager, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit more later. So with a percussion massager or massage gun, a lot of times it's a lot stronger than a traditional massager. So you really want to know that it's got a lot of power to it. They're really nice because the percussion actually works in a way where it goes a lot deeper into the tissue and it makes it more fast and repetitive. So this helps with inflammation. This helps with relieving tension. This helps increase the circulation to the area. So it does a really good job of getting deep down into those tissue fibers. And some research studies actually show that it's about up to 30% more effective than just a regular massage. So it's definitely something that's uh, interesting to try if you really want to get that deep massage in there. So with shoulder and neck pain, the big thing with shoulder and neck pain is a lot of these muscles are connected. So that's why a lot of times if you have neck pain, you also have shoulder pain or vice versa. If you're having a lot of shoulder pain, it might go up into the neck area. So this this percussion massager is really nice because you can hold on to it and get a good grip and get behind you. Some of the ones that are just, just straight without the handle make it a little hard to get there by yourself, but this does really good because it makes it easy to get kind of on the areas you need. Some of the biggest spots, like your upper trap muscles, your levator scapulae muscle, those are the ones that hold a lot of tension in our neck and our shoulders. Those are really good ones to work on. So especially the levator scapulae, because when we are stressed out or we're working a lot at a desk or something, we kind of get like this. And so you can really get down where your shoulder blade is and then come all the way up to where that levator scapula is. But the biggest thing to know is there are some precautions for a percussion massager. And one of them, which is big when you're using it on the neck and the shoulder, is never to do it on the front of your neck where your carotid artery is. So when you're working on it, make sure you're staying back here and not bringing it around to the front. There are some other precautions, so make sure you're checking those out and getting cleared by your doctor or your therapist with them. So the Eye Relieve Wireless Percussion Massager, one of the re reasons I really like this is, of course, that it's wireless. So it makes it a lot easier to really get in there and work on some stuff. It also has a bunch of um, different massage heads and I'm going to show you a couple different ones um, in a few minutes, but it's nice because you can easily change them out. It has three different settings here. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is the first one. So if you can, you know, you can really kind of get in there and hear me talk funny while it's on my neck area. And then you can bring it up to the second one where you can see it's a little bit faster and then even the third one so that gets really quick motions this one's a lot nicer a little bit lower in the deeper muscle tissues where sometimes those trigger points are so you can see right there and i'm going to go back to the first one just so you can hear me a little bit better but it's it's, it's quiet you can you know notice that it's nice and quiet and i really like that fact as well also, if, you, if you're into studies, uh, some of the studies show that this is really effective in preventing DOMS, which is a delayed onset of muscle soreness. And that's when you're not sore right away, but like a day or two later, 24 to 48 hours later, you're really sore. So if you've done a heavy workout or something and you get a nice deep tissue massage in there, a lot of times that will prevent that. So I wanted to show you on me, as you can see that it's, you can, you can massage yourself. It's definitely something that the way you can hold on to it, it works pretty well. But you can also, um, if you have someone that will do the massage for you. Sometimes you can get a little bit better placement if you have someone to massage um, it for you or if you're doing it on somebody else. So I need a model. <gasps> Whoa, look, it's Brian, my trusty assistant. So you can, um, I, I just want you to be able to see on him uh, ways to do it. And I'm going to talk about a little bit that levator, levator scapulae muscle, because that's the one that I really think is a good one to get. And then that upper trap, which is kind of over all of the area. So a lot of times you have a trigger point here. Brian might go, ow, yeah, that's it. And then um, one up in here, which is the upper trap. So that's usually where that levator scapulae muscle comes into the shoulder blade. So what I would do 
do is you you don't want to push hard. The, the massager is going to do what you need. So you don't have to put a lot of force into it. And a lot of times if you have circulation issues or sensation issues, that is a precaution as well. So make sure again, you're getting cleared. Um, you don't want to push so hard where it's uncomfortable because it should never be painful. So you can also kind of move it up into the neck area where those muscles are, but you don't want to go over the spine. You don't want to go over the bony areas because it'll start bumping really weirdly then, but you want to stay on the muscle tissue. You want it to be that smooth motion. You can go even up into the hairline in there, but again, remember you don't want to go around to the front and you don't really want to go actually on the spine here. And so what a cool thing is, if you want to work around the spine, those muscles around the, those spinous processes, they have one of the, the heads here, they call it the fork head. And what's really neat about this is it's kind of designed to go on each side here. So you're going up and down this way, but then you're not hitting that bony process there. So this makes it nice because you're still getting those muscles right along the spine, but you're not bumping it on the bone, which might be uncomfortable. So you can go all the way up into here. You can even go down into the, the thoracic back a little bit as well. And so um, hopefully that feels really good for Brian. Yeah, getting some nice massage in there. So you can see that there's um, a bunch of different ways to do it and a bunch of different massage heads to work on it. So that's a very nice component as well. And then you don't want to see a whole lot of redness. It might get a little bit of redness, but again, you're not pushing into it. You're kind of letting the massager do all the work. And again, if it's uncomfortable, then you're probably pushing too hard and you just want to do a little bit. You don't want to do a lot. Whoa. All right. Well, he's gone. So if you are interested in purchasing the I Relieve Wireless Percussion Massager, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.